What's up guys, this is Grand Turismo Junkie. Uh, just got my GoPro Hero, uh, HD Hero 3 working. Got the update all downloaded and everything. Um, it's New Year's Eve, so I'm gonna go head over uh, to a buddy's house for a, a little get together. And so I figured this would be a good time to do a test. Um, right now I have the suction cup mount and a few other different mounting accessories to get this uh, camera position. Um, it's on my driver's side window and I have the camera settings set to 1080p at 60 frames per second with a wide viewing angle. Um, the settings are also set to upside down so that way you can actually see everything the correct way. So. Um, we're in my car now, 1989 Mazda RX-7. It's got 123,000 miles on it. Um, so hopefully this works, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Gloves on, because it's cold. For reference, uh, ProTune is off, and the frame I have on it is just uh, what's known as the frame. Uh, it's not the waterproof skeleton, and uh, it's just the basic round frame that you can buy to go around it. to note um, won't be going any crazy speeds or doing anything reckless tonight um, for one it is Christmas Eve so cops are everywhere looking for stupidity um, and for two apart from having a bad driver's side wheel bearing or more correct terms the front left side That is going out, so anything above 40 miles an hour, I get this nice little growl. Um, also, I'm still having my vibration related uh, issues depending on RPMs. And also, I am not made of money, so I do not have much gas. So, maybe a few pulls here and there, but other than that, nothing. Mods done to the car is very limited, um, mainly maintenance so far. You know, taking care of things like all the intake uh, gaskets and vacuum lines. Those have all been switched over to a silicone base. And I also installed the Atkins Rotary six port. Um, intake rods, or sleeves, however you want to name them. And I also have the k and drop-in filter for the stock airbox. Um, on Nash GS rated RX-7s, there's no real reason to go to a quote-unquote cold air intake, seeing as how the stock intake works very well as a cold air intake, provided that all your rubber is still good. And also going to a cold air intake, unless you build a cold air box to surround it, you're doing nothing but feeding it with hot air. So all your cold air is not even that is flowing into your intake. However, that is all 
also restricted by the airflow meter. So it really does you no good to switch over to anything else than a drop-in filter. Um, other modifications, other than maintenance, uh, is the energy suspension uh, polyurethane bushing kit, which I found to be a very, very dramatic difference because of the fact that you're getting rid of mushy 20 year old, hopefully not, but probably rubber soaked bushings. And it really firms up the ride. Also, the sway bar mount bushings are part of that kit, and it makes a very noticeable difference when you are taking corners. You notice that that the top of your hood doesn't move up and down quite as much. Um, the corner is much flatter, which obviously is going to let you corner with more speed. Um, brakes have been upgraded to my old GXL models, uh, four pistol front calipers and vented rear rotors, which in turn means a larger, not, not necessarily larger, but a wider rear caliper. Um, the pads, I'm not really sure of what they are. I mean, they, they had a ton of life in them when I bought the car and also when I had them on the, on the GXL. So there was no real need to switch them out just yet. They can wait till next racing season if I decide to run my car because I will be co-driving with together so if you do plan to do that yourself please make sure that you label 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 because otherwise you're gonna have a fun time trying to figure out how they go back together also be very easy on the um, on the, the solenoids because the nipples on them will rip off very easily um, also of note
basically what it does is over 5500 RPM, uh, vacuum will, will pull down on a on the solenoid and it will actually rotate the sleeve inside of the intake and change the airflow through the intake. So instead of it coming in and flowing back and going down to certain ports, it will actually send pulses of air through uh, the intake, which for some rotary two-stroke reason, which let me let me get clear real quick, a rotary is not necessarily a two-stroke. However, the two do share a lot of the same basic principles. Um, but it does enhance power. It is now an S5 model, and it is a GTU, which is the base model for an S5. So, I stopped talking for me, because I'm about to get to his house. And, thanks for watching my introductory video. Hopefully after I change out this wheel bearing and get everything 